Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the product of sum and sum to product formulas, both of which you see here, both of probably which look pretty terrible to be honest. But remember that our goal when we're working with these is really just to identify two things. What is U and what is V? And if we can figure out what U is and what V is, then it's just a matter of plugging things into the formula, maybe doing some simplification later on. Now what you see here is what we have at the top are product to sum formulas. That's because we start with the product, which is multiplication, and we end with the sum, which is, uh, which is addition or subtraction, right? Or we have the sum to product formulas, which is go backwards, right? So I can take sine U plus sine V, a sum, and I can turn that into a multiplication problem, which is a product. So we're going to use these, and we're going to find out that sometimes it just makes things simpler for us. It makes things easier to solve. So here we go. First example, and I'm going to draw on this. I'm going to reference this stuff as I'm going along. But the first problem that we have says, rewrite the product as a sum or difference. And so my first job is to determine what u and v are. Well, in this case, it looks like u is going to be 5x, and it looks like v is going to be 4x. On the second example we're going to do, it looks like u is going to be 5 theta, and cosine, or excuse me, 3 theta is going to be v. So really, I'm just need, I need to identify this first. I don't know what theta is, I don't know what x is, but now I can go and I can use the formulas to do the following. I look here and I see I have cosine u sine v. Well, the formula for that is right here, cosine u sine v. So I just need to copy it down, and everywhere I see u, I'm going to put in a 5x. Let's get this straight now, huh? Everywhere I see a v, I'm going to put in a 4x. So I have 1 half of brackets sine of u 5x plus v, which is 4x, in parentheses minus the sine of u minus v, which is 5x minus 4x. Now it turns out, if I look in here, 5x plus 4x, I can combine those. This part here adds up to 9x, right? So I have 1 half of the sine of 9x. I distribute the 1 half. I also need to distribute the 1 half out here. It looks it's minus 1 half the sine of just plain old x. 5x minus 4x is just x. Right? And so it turns out that these two, two statements are equivalent, and I'm done. Okay, same thing over here. Slightly different formula. Slightly different formula. But I'm going to do sine u cosine v, which means I just need to use then the formula right above it. So I can say then this is 1 half sine of 5 theta minus 3 theta u minus v plus the sine of u minus v again. 5 theta minus 3 theta. Now it's just a matter of simplifying. That doesn't seem right to me. Something like sine u cosine v. Well, son of a gun, I've got an error in my in my notes. You know what? That formula is wrong. So we'll make sure we correct that when I hand that out. This is sine u plus sine v. Sorry about that. So now that means that my answer then, 5 theta and 3 theta add up to 8 theta. So I have 1 half sine of 8 theta plus, and then I have 1 half the sine of 2 theta. And that's how we can rewrite everything as a product as a sum or difference.